guys it's me fifi for the last time i don't think i'm going to bring fifi in my other videos um i might change my mind i don't know but this is the last booktober video it is on halloween you guys got two videos this week aren't you special um <laughs> i'm sorry if that was i'm sorry um so yeah, I really wanted to film this video, but I realized that I already had all my videos done for this month. So I was like, you know what, why not just post one on Halloween as a little treat, even though technically it's not my, it's not on my like uploading schedule. I usually only upload on Mondays. I wanted to do this anyway so here i am my channel my rules <laughs> um i'm going to give my personal book recs for spooky season i have short and simple easy to read spooky books i have the murder mystery classic um i have more murder mystery than anything else and then i do have dark romance I'm going to be putting a disclaimer at that section of the video. It's going to be at the very end. I'm doing that one last. Um, I'm going to do a disclaimer right before I get into it. Um, I will say right now, if you are under the age of 18, if you are still a child, a minor, you might want to just end the video when we get there. Skip, because the book books aren't for you um they are for the proper mature adults no offense to you guys it's just these are for 18 and up i don't make the rules so don't bite the messenger um but there is going to be a disclaimer at the end i just want to get that out there now so Let's just jump into it. I don't want the intro to be super long. Um, we're going to go with last week's book. Or technically, it was this week's book. Technically, Monday's book. Uh, Too Scared to Sleep. I feel like although I didn't give it a very high rating, I still liked it. Still enjoyed it. I still think this is nice and spooky. Nice, simple, little, sweet spooky book for spooky season and it's got the videos that were pretty creepy so i think i think this is a pass pretty good i can't really give a full like description of what this book is about because again it's a bunch of tiny short stories so they're all different um but it is really good and it's by andrew duplessis um definitely get it and yeah, that's really all I can say about that book. Because again, it's just a bunch of short stories. So I can't really go into depth about it without spoiling all the stories. Uh, next, we have Pen Pal by Dathan. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that because I know I would butcher it horribly. So my apologies. Uh, Pen Pal is so short and sweet. But it is the type of book you have to read it more than once. So it all clicks in your head. Um, it's about a boy who is trying to piece together his childhood. Um, he only has like certain memories and they all kind of connect in a way. And the only other person he can really go to to help him is his mother. And he ends up finding out what happened to his childhood best friend who just kind of disappeared out of nowhere um it ends really sad it, the ending is pretty sad and heartbreaking and just for me it makes this book even creepier just knowing the ending and how it all went is shivers down your spine <laughs> But yeah, this was, I will, I, if I could, I would gush about this book for hours, but I'm not going to do that to you. You just have to read it and find out. It's so good. I think I gave it a five out of five. It's so good. <laughs> and now we're on to 
the murder mysteries we have 14 ways to die by vincent ralph this is it's ya young adult and it's basically this girl wants to solve the murder of her mom and there's i think it's a tv show or like a live streaming service um I don't remember which one, but they're doing, like, stories, uh, from, like, real people, and she puts, she puts in her audition video of wanting to find her mom, and they obviously are like, this is genius, we're gonna put you in the show, and it's kind of like a competition, whoever gets the most views is going to, like, get the show, and it's all just kind of like a big like audition slash competition and she's just trying to find out what happened to her mom she doesn't really care if like she gets anything out of it she just wants the truth i mean obviously she cares about if she gets the show because if she does then it means that she gets all the help to find her mom but that's just what she wants and she does find out what happens and I was shocked by the end of it. I did not see it coming and I was shocked. Next, we have How to Survive Your Murder by Danielle Valentine. This book, I feel like this book got a bunch of mixed reviews. People loved it, people hated it, people were kind of in the middle about it. I loved it. It takes place on Halloween. <laughs> it what could be better than that literally halloween um she is it's a girl trying to figure out who killed her sister her sister dies on halloween and a year later she kind of goes back in time somehow and she gets a chance to save her sister so obviously she's going to take it she's going to save her sister and the truth that we find out about shocking shocking some people say that they saw it a mile away i did not okay i did not maybe i was blind but i was not expecting it to end the way that it ended and i had my jaw on the floor by the end of this book but it was really good it was really fun it was really fast paced for me and it's not a, it's not that big of a book it's like 300 pages whatever yeah it's not even 300 pages it's just like five pages shy of 300 so it's so short it's so fast paced it's so good <laughs> so yeah i recommend this book now i feel like it would be a crime if i didn't put this trilogy in here and it's a good girl's guide to murder obviously and you can't read this book without reading this book good girl bad blood and you can't read these two without finishing it with as good as dead the last book of the trilogy oh my gosh i can't hold them all and then if you want killjoy it's the novella of it's like a pre uh, prequel to this book the first book so you could realistically read this one first and be just fine or you could read it last really up to you really how you want to read it but this happens before the events in this book and the other books so yeah these are about a girl <laughs> who is trying to solve a murder mystery that happened I believe it's five years ago that just never quite made sense to her never really sat right with her she gets to the truth she gets to the bottom of it and oh my gosh when i first read it i was not expecting i was not expecting that twist at the end i was like what is going on what happened and uh, then we get to this book and again was not expecting the twist at the end was not expecting the truth to come out like it did and I cried at the end of this book. Oh my gosh, it was sad. <laughs> it was so sad. Um, 
but our girl gets a lot of trauma from this book unfortunately um but instead of a murder mystery she's trying to solve a missing person and it's a person that she knows very well because it's one of her friends older brothers and she just wants to help so she does and obviously she finds the truth because it's freaking pip fits a moby she like if she can't find the truth no one's going to and then we get as good as dead this book had me cry at least three times reading it broke my heart at the end <laughs> pip and ravi forever that's all i gotta say this is so much darker than the other two books but oh my goodness it is so good this is my favorite book of the whole series i love this book it's so freaking good um instead of solving um a murder mystery or a missing person she's kind of solving her own mystery that's what i'll say without giving too much away in case you haven't read it um she does start trying to solve like a jane doe case and then it quickly turns into something completely different and the twist in this book again i was shocked i was stunned okay so these are my good safe books now this is the dark romance part i only have two books and they go together um i feel like you might know already but i need to put a disclaimer before i talk about and show these books just in case um dark romance gets so much hate these books in particular i have never seen anyone hate people for reading a book so much more than i do with these two and i love these books these are so dark and creepy but I also know that what is in these books are not okay. I, if any of this happened to me in real life, I would go straight to the cops. <laughs> like, I would not tolerate any of the stuff in this book. Um, none of it is okay. And if any of this happens in real life, then the police need to be involved. Um, I do understand that there are victims who don't like this stuff and that is totally understandable but there are also people who love dark stuff just just because they like dark stuff i'm one of those people who like dark stuff and i feel like a lot of people don't like them because of how disturbing they are and the thing about art books are art and art is there to this is like a famous quote everyone says it art is there to disturb the comfort comfortable and comfort the disturbed uh, i feel like everyone knows that <laughs> or at least like most people should know that uh, i feel like that is what dark romance is there for and i feel like that is kind of the type of art it is and so many people do find comfort in these characters and these books and it's okay to like dark romance but you have to know that none of the stuff in these books are real and none of these stories are not real these characters are not real the things that happen to the people in these books are not real um, never happened to these there is no what I, what I'm trying to say is that these are stories these are fiction these stories did not happen to real people the people in these stories are not real they are fake and anything that happens in these books are read purely just for entertainment it's like people who like the Saw movies those are very gruesome gory torture movies and it's like saying if you like those movies then you're a psychopath books are i know a lot
lot of people don't like to admit it, but books are like movies in the entertainment industry. They are entertainment. They are for entertainment purposes, just like movies are for entertainment. And yes, there are dark and scary and gruesome books that kind of test the lines of what's okay and what's not okay. These books very much you have to be in the right mindset to read them you have to take the warnings seriously i see so many people comment about no warnings in these books but there are warnings you're just ignoring them it literally states i have read the warnings in both of these books and i have read both of these books front and back everything in the warning happens in these books and there's nothing that happens in these books that are not in the warning uh, you can fight with me all day but the proof is in the book um literally we'll just go into it it is haunting adeline and hunting adeline these these are the dark romance books um i did that whole spiel because so many people were commenting about how like bad these books were and like I've seen so many people comment on other posts about how like disturbing it is to like these books and I have also seen people say that 12 year olds are buying these books that is not okay if I were to see a 12 year old buy these books I would go straight to their parents and tell them hey look do not let your kid get this book because it is not safe for them like it is it is not okay to read dark romance as a young child as a 12 year old as an adult sure you can do whatever you want you can read these books you just just take care of yourself take care of your mental health make sure you're in the right mindset because these books are so not for everyone but haunting adeline is a girl who moves into her grandma's house after she passes and she finds out um that her great grandma who was murdered in that house uh had a stalker and she's trying to figure out who the stalker was because that is most likely who murdered her great grandma and in the midst of trying to solve this she finds out that she has her own stalker and now the things that happen to her are not okay in real life they are not okay this I'm only putting this in for entertainment purposes only. Um, so yeah, we kind of, we get to know a lot about Gigi and a lot about Adeline and Adeline and Gigi are very similar. There's a lot of parallels that go, that go on in between them and, um, the plot of this book, if you ignore the, like, smut, which this is very smut heavy, obviously, it's a dark romance, but the plot in this book is so freaking good. It's literally her, her best friend, trying to figure out what happened to her great-grandma so many years ago in that house, and... They kind of find out and get a conclusion, and yeah, it is really good. But then, like, stuff happens, and it's not okay. Um, and then immediately after haunting, you get hunting Adeline, and oh my goodness, this book broke my heart. It is. 10 times darker than Haunting Adeline, so you really have to be in a good mind space to read this book and this book. Um, and take the warning seriously, literally in the front of, where is it? I don't know, I went too far. Yeah, the important, important note. These give the warning and it's in this book too. It's in both. I know a lot of people like to say that there's no warning, but there literally is. Literally is. It literally tells you everything that happens. Um, so yeah, there is not one thing that happens that is not in the content warning. And I will... 
I know that there's gonna be people still commenting that stuff happened in the book that weren't in the warning, but I have read these books front and back. I have read the warnings. Everything that happens in this book is in the warning. It's just, you have to read the warnings and a lot of people like to ignore those and that's not okay. That, I will say, that's not okay to ignore the warnings and go straight into it and then bash it for not having warnings when it has warnings. It does have the warnings. It literally has the warnings. Anyway, this is becoming a whole freaking rant and uh, yeah, so these books adults only and you really have to be in a good mindset and you really 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 have to pay attention to the content warnings and you can even look them up online like you don't even have to try to find the page even though it's in the front of the book you can literally go online on H.J. Carlton's website and she's got all the like warnings and stuff for the books on there too um so yeah <laughs> i feel like this video is going to get so much hate for me putting these books in there but i love these books they're so good they are my favorite dark romance and yeah i don't know so many people love these books too like i constantly see so many youtuber like booktubers talking about these books and loving these books and I see so many, like, book people on Instagram with these books on their shelves and, like, hyping them up. So I know that I'm not the only one who likes these books. But I also know that so many people like to hate people for talking about these books. And I just, I knew that if I didn't do a disclaimer, I would have people in the comments complaining about these books and possibly saying mean things about me. So... I put the disclaimer and uh, yeah these books are not for the faint of heart I'm not e I'm not joking any any book besides these two that I talked about perfectly fine for any age there's not anything inappropriate or bad that happens in these books except for these two I'm only putting these in because this book has haunting stuff like there's lit it's literally she lives in a haunted house so yeah um and I just I like the books I like them and I feel like they're good and creepy for spooky season so yeah that's it for this video my rant is over I just had to get that all out I know that there's still going to be people in the comments who are going to complain and like try to argue with me about it, but I'm not going to argue with you about it. If you want to comment mean things about these books, fine. I mean, I can't stop you, but I said my piece. I put my warning. Do not buy the Haunting Adeline books if you are a child or if you are not in a good mindset. Take care of your mental health first. And know the difference between real and fake and right and wrong. Okay. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Happy Halloween. And uh, give me a like if you like these videos. And I will see you guys next week with another video. We are going into November. So... I don't know what I'm going to start with. <laughs> I really don't. So it's going to be a surprise for both of us on what next week's video is going to be. So I will see you guys later. I hope you have a good night. Stay safe and happy Halloween. Bye.